What's up, everybody? It's Tree. I ran out of super glue, and I don't have my teeth done, and it's so loud. I can make this noise. Very embarrassing. Um, so a few weeks ago, my neighborhood lady, she's from Korea, and I was out planting aloe vera plants, you know, on in the apartment complex. They made me pluck them up after I planted them all. It's the apartment did, but anyhow, um. She asked me to go to church with her, and so this morning I'm going to church. It's a Christian church. It's called the Prophet Church or something like that. I don't know what denomination. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't believe in religion. I believe in creation. Um, so that's, you know, and then this morning she, you know, I told her to wake me up at 9. You know, and then I was laying in bed and I was thinking, no, I don't want to get up. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. Because last week I said I was going to go, but I didn't. But then, then the chair was like, no, and then I laid there, lay there, and I was like, I got to get up. And I was like, well, no, I'm not going to church. Because when I was a little kid, when I used to go to churches, I used to, like, see snakes and the, the lights and the candles. Like, and I used to hear the demons talking and stuff. And plus I have, I know the Catholic Vatican, they're reptilians, you know. They have human bodies, and so... And it was Catholic churches that I was brought to when I was young. It was also Catholic churches that did the uh, exorcisms on me when I was 10, 10 and 11. I was possessed for almost two, almost two years. Um, physical possession. Um, well, they possessed me, and then I'll tell you about the details about that later. But um, when I said last night, I said, how do you know I'm not casting a spell on you? How do I know I'm not placing a curse on you? What I'm telling you, the reason I am said, said that was because I want you guys to like wake up and don't be careless with any of this. You need to pay attention to what's going on. And no, I'm not casting no curses upon anybody. I never do that. But I want you to be pay attention to what's going on here. This is not a game. You know, you can just because you don't believe something doesn't mean it isn't real. Just because you don't believe something doesn't mean it's not real. Um, uh, Elio, <laughs> and that's, this is like tripping me out, okay, all this stuff is really tripping me out, um, but I can feel, I can feel the energy, I feel, because over millions of uninhabited, millions of disembodied, you guys, would you please stop, why are you doing that? They haven't done that for a while. Remember how they used to do that in all my old videos? They always growling, but now they're... But still, I can feel these... Josh! No! Go to the top. Baby John, Charlie, hey, yo, you go on, go grow over there. Okay, um... If I wasn't so homely, I'd be cute. <laughs> I have to be careful with everything I do now, and I have to be sure that Leo told me the other day that I need to think about everything before I do anything. I don't need, I need to think before I act, and even then, if I do, I still need to be careful. He told me, um, and he, um, he's my hero, <laughs> uh, but Pender got out of, of me, um, I let him out, um, because he's been, like, hibernating in my energy field since, you know, you guys know what happened if you've been following my story, which is going up on probably well over 1,200, 1,300 videos I've made since I started my YouTube channel, and I've deleted most of them, um, and I don't have hard copies for most of them, so if any of you guys out there have recorded any of my videos, the older ones, because I know right now not that many people are watching, I have to show you my hit count someday, you know, because every day I can see how many people watch my videos, what videos they watch. When I went to Boho, not last year, but the year before, I had um, 4,000 one day, 5,000 one day, 6,000 one day, 7,000, and then it fluctuates, and then it was like averaging about 1,000 a day, and then it was averaging about 600 a day, but lately I'm only getting like between 1 and 800 a day and it fluctuates, but still it could go up one day and be over a thousand hits and the next day it could be, but it's never less than a hundred, ever, except the first week I had opened up my YouTube account, those were the first days that were zero, 
that, and well, no, the UV 30, and then 60, and then 80, and then it was like up to I think 200 was my highest hit count. Um, the day, two days. Two days before I went to Boho, two years ago, I hadn't even made it to 200 hits a day view count. But then it flew up to 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 4,000. Over the next week, it was like over 5,000, 4, 5,000, 6. Some days, you know, they changed. But the highest I've ever gotten, you know, um, 7,000 something. And that was, but now, but I know that every day, there's going to be more people that can watch the videos. And so just because right now there's not everybody watching, these are still a story. I wish I could get YouTube to let up on my videos, all of them, because I don't have well, most of the hard copies. And so the whole story is in there, everything. And I've deleted so many. I've deleted over a thousand videos that I don't have hard copies for. Uh, okay, so I can feel these, these reptilians, you know, that are disembodied, that don't have human bodies. Um, they're in hell. They're, they're in hell. All reptilians are under the, they, they have been under the control of Pendar until the Queen overthrew him on uh, three days before Halloween in 2007. That's when she became the leader of the Illuminati and overthrew him after the first assassination attempt. And then, um, so, but all the time he's been the devil. <laughs> but he's evolving. Nothing, no one stays the change forever, stays the same forever. Um, But, um, so all the reptilians that have human bodies, which is somewhere around a couple couple million that are inhabiting human bodies right on this earth, when the bodies are in dies, they would go to this cold, dark hell place, um, you know, which is hell, it's a dimension. And dimensions are reached through uh, crystals, like the microchip is the quartz crystal, and it's the quartz crystal, the crystals are used in all communication devices, and um, they draw in energy, hold it, intensify it, um, manipulate it, and send it out in, ex in, in, in intensity. Different variations, and I'm not, I don't know all the, man all the ingredients or the recipes or the codes or the... I don't know all that stuff yet, but I'm learning as I go. And sometimes I've done stuff and I forgot that I knew it and I start to remember. Um, but, so anyhow, with this, my crystal, this is the one that I have used when I go to Master Masons and that Draco came to, which was the one that I met a few times ago with, who was the reptilian, like the most powerful reptilian, I suppose the strongest one, it's in this dimension hell, which is cold and freezing and dark, that they hate, but the ones that don't have human host. But when they're in their dimension, they're physical, okay, but a different type of physical though, you know, like, there's transparent, there's translucent, then there's, you know, whatever, but, oh, well, all that does is magnify my mouth, I should be doing that. See? Um, how embarrassing. Thank God I know that everything will be able to change, the way we look and everything will. The ego's really been a big thing with me lately, though, feeling, hating myself because of the way I look, but, um, so this crystal tender last time was a real solid anchor. It was really good, real thorough. Over an hour he stayed in my master mason talking to me and usually it's really strenuous and hard in order to be able to keep the anchor, you know, from keep from slipping out because the energy has been waning. It's waning big time. And the reptilians are almost they're completely out of energy. There's no more bodies for them to be go inhabit because there's no more auras being formed. Um, me and my master Mason and Leo are the only ones that have the aura that's not inhabited. That reptilians can inhabit, but reptilians call the black aura. Leo's the youngest, and he's here. <laughs> um, thank God he's back. I thought I thought that he left us for a while, but he didn't. Um, he didn't. And oh, is he? <laughs> now. So Pendar came through, but now he's stronger than ever because he wants a body, he wants Leo's body. He don't like Leo. He's, even though he, when he was in the Baron's body, he physically, Leo's a physical person, 26, and Pendar, when he was in his physical body, Baron, the Baron's body, he made Leo. And so, but Leo didn't know that that was his father, okay? But Pendar's been doing this life after life after life after life to this particular person in order to get them, be able to inhabit them. 
him. And so, but and I was just stronger than ever, even when he had the Baron's body right now, somehow this crystal, I don't know how it works yet. I'm just learning how it works. But I don't, there's so much to learn. I'm just beginning to realize what this can do. But, so, but now Pandora okay, comes back and they living in my energy field and through the crystal and being able to keep me warm and not have to go to that cold, heart, dark hell place, which is a dimension and dimensions are reached like through quartz crystals and every crystalline, even rocks, which is regular rocks. If you look, you'll see a little crystalline something in it. Even ice cubes crystalline. There's different types of crystals, but crystals are how other dimensions are accessed. And um, how is a dimension, which has also been a prison, okay, and so, um, but all the reptilians that don't have human bodies, there's millions and millions of them. Some of them have had human bodies and have been uh, removed without even being punished by Pandora, you know, but now the queen's in charge. Like Drake, and he was been inhabiting human bodies the whole time, and then he was re removed, but they have different prisms, different, like the Luxor, the pyramid, you know, is a talisman where they store, it's why it's on the dollar bill with the pyramid, with the race coming out, that's a talisman where a prism where souls are stored, the human souls that are pushed out of their bodies when the reptilians inhabit them. Um, and throughout time they've got every one of us. Just because you don't have a black or not doesn't mean you didn't have it before. <laughs> okay, um, but, um, so now they're all here, they're warm now, and they're not cold, and that freezing cold hell, because these disembodied reptilians, they haven't had human bodies, but most of them have never even known warmth or had a human body, but they've been suffering the cold, and this cold dark hell, and they hate it, but now they're, I got them out, and they're here, and they're safe with me, and they're warm, and they do what I, they do, they do what I ask, because I'm the mother. <laughs> um, and besides that, they have no choice because I can lock the door just as easily as I can open it. But I did let Pandar out. Pandar's out. He's, uh, you can't see him, but if you like smoke a cigarette and he was there, or you have smoke and you blow the smoke, you can see the outline of his reptilian form, which is um, on the video, the movie The Dark Crystal. <laughs> those, what, those wizards in there, the ghostly people, those people, that's really what the reptilians look like. They're not so cartoonish or animated, but that's what they look like. Um, but he's, tr he's like, you know what I'm saying, he's not here right now, he's out roaming around the world right now, and he's going after Leo to try to inhabit his body, because Leo's the only aura that he can inhabit, except for my Master Mason, but he used my Master Mason's body to get out through the crystal, and I didn't realize what was happening until, it after, you know, because sometimes I don't realize what's happening until after it happens, but, um, so I can feel these guys and they're here with all of the hell, of the dimension of hell, you know, because crystals, prism, prism prisons, that's, it's a dimension and that's what the hell is, that's what all these different dimensions are. Ah, there's good dimensions to the crystal, but they can also be used as prism, prisons, prism prisons. So I got all the demons out of hell, all the reptilians, and they're here with me and, um, for my army. I don't know what's going to happen and how this is all going to play out. But I, I have to be careful not to let hate into my heart because you guys have seen, you know what happens to me when hate, I let hate into my heart. And I hate it that you guys haven't done anything to help me all this time. I've been, all of you, any video I've ever had from the beginning, even years and years and years, all I've been asking for is a little bit of help, an opportunity, anything, you know. And um, a couple people have helped me, and um, but not like the help I need. Basically I've been asking for you guys to help me get clean and pure so I can get take utilize my abilities without because as long as I'm not pure and I have these powers and access to them and I have all that I have here and I'm not pure or clear all the time, it could be dangerous for all of us. Okay, I'm going to church. Wish me luck. I'm scared. I'm scared. Not really. <laughs>